Hey everybody, this is Brian, head tutor from Score Beyond, coming at you from Score Beyond headquarters in sunny and hot Menlo Park, California. Let's tackle this set of paired questions from the evidence-based reading section of the new SAT. A typical set of paired questions on the new SAT will start with a question that requires you to find evidence somewhere in the passage to prove the right answer. And then the second question, which we'll see in a second, actually lists different types of evidence that help prove the right answer. Let's see how to tackle these by starting with the first question. The author's tone throughout the passage could best be described as one of... Okay, so this is a straight-up tone question. In order to understand the author's tone throughout the passage, we have to go back and look for key words or phrases or how the author describes what's going on in the passage to determine the tone. So let's go ahead and take a look at the passage. From the get-go in the passage, we can see that the author is kind of being wry, maybe even a little sarcastic. In the first paragraph, he says, My judgment is that the rich undergo cruel trials and bitter tragedies of which the poor know nothing. In the first paragraph, the author talks about how generally the rich have to suffer because they worry about their money. There's always something happening to their money, and poor people, they don't have to worry about their money because they don't have money. In other parts of the passage, the author also talks about how a particular person describes how he's bothered about needing to pay attention to his money. He wishes that he didn't have to, and that poor people are in a better state because they don't have to worry about this stuff all the time. This man whom we get to see is Mr. Spug says that he was a lot happier when he had only plain, simple things of life uh, like poor people. Later on in the passage, we can see that this sort of sarcasm, this sort of satire, gets really ridiculous and maybe a little obvious when the author says, I have suggested that he should lie on his stomach on the floor of the club and drink a saucerful of soda in response to... Mr. Spug remembering that when he drank out of a running creek, he was very, very happy. So we can see that the author is being a little ridiculous, or at least the comparison here is done with a little bit of silliness and perhaps humor. So let's go to the answer choices and see if there isn't a word describing a tone that would match this type of description. All right, answer A, humor. That kind of works, but let's eliminate the others if we can. B, anger. The author wasn't angry. Frustration. The author wasn't really frustrated. He himself didn't have money and was really mad about having to pay attention to it. Sadness. The author really wasn't sad, so we can get rid of D, which leaves us with A. And that's the first question of this set of paired questions. Let's take a look at the second. As you can see in this second question, it's asking which choice, or really which quote from the passage, provides the best evidence for the answer to the previous question. The answer to the previous question was humor. Now, if you remember the quote that was the silliest, it was the one in which the author suggested that Mr. Spug get on the floor and drink a saucer of water to simulate how he used to drink water out of the river when he was happy and poor. So, since that was the most ridiculous quote, that would be the right answer here. And it's usually the best way about answering paired questions, is to find your evidence first, and then you already know what supports the previous answer. If not, you're going to have to reread a bunch, and it's no fun. If you'd like help working on other types of paired questions, like these in the evidence-based reading section of the new SAT, or they still kind of confuse you a bit, tap the tutoring button at the bottom of the screen to get some extra help. All right, see you next time.